Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is now the middle of August and that officially means that the back to school season is slowly encroaching on us. It's both an exciting time but also just as equally a scary time as we try and set ourselves up for success for the brand new school year. So this marks a year since I've initially made my channel and posted my Notion tour that really put me on the map here on YouTube. So in celebration of that and the back to school season, I thought it would be fun to kind of go back to my roots and post yet another Notion tour with a completely free Notion template, but this time for my students. So if you're going to high school, university, graduate school, professional school, or anything between, I hope you find this template useful as we all try and navigate the back to school season and start this year off on a good foot. So here is my student notion template for the 2024 back to school season. Okay, so let's get things started. Since you guys had such positive reception to my last Notion tour and template, I thought it would be great to create one specifically for students and include all of the things I would have appreciated, especially when I was in university. So you can access this template by looking at the description in my bio. And once you click that and open it in your Notion dashboard, it should look a little something like this. As you can see from the general vibe, we went a lot more minimalist with this one just because I wanted to reduce distractions as much as possible. But if you wanted to customize it, you're absolutely able to do it. I wanted to give you guys a blank slate. Okay, so let's start off by orienting ourselves with the home page. Here we have our student template and I've kind of divided it into our sidebar here on the left and everything else here in the middle. So in our sidebar, we have our navigation tabs and this allows us to jump from one page to another just like this and it's present in all the pages so we can quickly toggle back and forth. Here we have our quick capture section and these are little buttons that I've made so we can easily create new assessments, new notes and new meeting notes straight from the home page and we'll get into that a little bit later. Here on the left, I've created a little space for you guys to have any reminders that you need to keep track of, as well as pasting any important links and we have all of these that are hyperlinked. Here in the middle, I have a customizable widget where you can input the date of any upcoming exams or big assessments that you have, so you can constantly remind yourself of how much time is left to prepare for it. Here on the right, I have our to-do list, which just reminds us of all of the tasks that we need to complete that aren't assessments or quizzes or exams or things like that, and I'll make a little bit more sense later. Here in the middle, we have a table that tells us all of our assessments and projects that are due today. Below that, I have a board view of all of our classes, and here in the bottom, we have a calendar that gives us a monthly overview of all of our upcoming assessments. So I tried to keep it as minimal as possible and really only include the things that I would find necessary, but still it is a little bit busy, but I'll make sure to break down how each of them works and how to customize each one. So I am super stoked with how this Notion template came out and that I made it so you don't have to. There was definitely quite a learning curve when it came to Notion and it was so difficult trying to teach myself all of the functions and formulas that I need to make workspaces that are both super functional and aesthetic. If I could go back in time to when I was first learning Notion, I would have definitely used the classes and learning paths that are available on Skillshare, which brings us to the portion of the video that is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes that are led by industry experts. There are so many different classes that are available for you to choose from. They have these things called learning paths, which are kind of these curated sequential class collections that allow you to master a specific skill or a competency. With these, you can learn everything from photography to playing guitar to drawing, or in my case, more so productivity and organization and just how the heck to use Notion. As always, I recommend the classes from Notion God himself, Ali Abdal. As you can see, he has 24 lessons in this class and by the end of it, you can go from a complete Notion novice to a master by the end. So in the spirit of back to school season and continuously trying to learn new things, Skillshare is there to lend a guiding hand and kind of like my Notion template, will try and make things as efficient and seamless as possible for you. The first 500 people to use the link in my description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get yours today and let's learn together. Thanks so much to Skillshare and let's get back to the video.
Okay, so now that we know what everything is and what it looks like, let's start getting into the nitty gritty of everything. Okay, so let's start things off by talking about our little to-do list up here. So I like to divide my to-do list based on assessments and more of my general to-do lists. So assessments would be things like your projects, if you have any presentations or papers or quizzes that you need to keep track of, that would fall in the assessment tracker and everything else would fall in my to-dos. So these would be things like finishing some modules that I have to do, getting a haircut, Cut, grocery shopping, you know, clean desk. And I still want to be able to keep track of those things, but I don't want to mix it with things like my projects. So we can see that we have a table over here and we have three tabs. We have an inbox, do now and do later. So in the inbox, like the name suggests, this is where you can put your tasks. For example, I would do something like meet TA. And the great thing with Notion is that if you put an at, you can do things like mention a date or a time and also remind yourself. So I could say meet TA, remind tomorrow at 9 a.m. and it'll give you a notification. I can go ahead and categorize that as more of an admin thing I have to do and the due date, which would be tomorrow. So now that we have this in our inbox, these two tabs are just filtering for the due dates. So if instead of looking at all of my upcoming tasks, I want to know just what's due now, I could click that and it'll say that I need to get a haircut today. Everything else will fall under due later. And I just find this really helpful because sometimes it can be really overwhelming to look at all the tasks you have to do. So maybe you just wanna compartmentalize and look at what is due now and what is due later. So that is our to-dos. So while we're here, let's talk about this due date widget and that is using a website called Indify. So in order to update this, what you can do is that you can go to indify.com, make a free account and you can create add new widget over here and click countdown and you can call it whatever you want. Oops, pardon my typos. And it'll generate this new widget and you can go ahead and call it whatever you want. I can call this next exam. And then you can click the date and the time that it's supposed to be. So I like to remove the seconds just because I don't need that much detail. And then I can go and copy it like this. And then once we go back to our page here, you can just paste it here and make it as an embed. And you can see, we have it just like that. So you can go ahead and update it to include whatever it is that you want to keep track of. So we talked about the to-do list table. Like I said, we have to-dos and assessments. So now let's talk about the assessment table. For this to make sense, let's jump over to the assessment tracker in the navigation bar. So here we have our assessment tracker and it's just a way for us to keep track of all of our due dates and assignments that we have to be on top of. Very similar to our to-do list, we have a bunch of tabs over here. And let's start off by looking at the input tab. So I've pre-filled a bunch of these just so you can kind of see how this works. So what I would do is that in the beginning of the school year, when you get your syllabus and you know everything that you have to complete, I would just take some time, sit down and input everything with a deadline here in this assessment tracker. So we can do it together to kind of explain this. So we'll click new over here. We'll choose the name. I'm going to call this blood type report. I'll choose the class that it's a part of. And if you wanted to create a new class, you can go ahead and just type it in. I'll call this, this hodgepodge of numbers and then press enter. You can press the due date of when it's going to be due. And then I have this column over here that will automatically calculate how many days left you have until that deadline. You can attach any attachments as well as put in any notes. So once you've inputted all of your assessments, we can go ahead and look at the different tabs that allows us to filter once again based on due date. If we want to take a look of all of our assessments that are due today, we can go right there and we'll see that our muscle slab report and our lit review is due today. I have a tab for everything that's due tomorrow and everything that's due soon. And I think I have this set up such that it's all of your assessments coming in the upcoming two weeks. So once again, I really like this because once you input all of your assessments for every class, this list will be very, very, very long and it can be difficult to keep track of what is coming up. So this is great because it just filters for the things that are due today, due tomorrow and due soon. So it's less work on you. So compared to the to-do list, this one has some additional tabs, including the overview tab, which is basically all of your assessments, but now in calendar view. So this way you have a monthly overview of everything that is coming up. If you wanted to make any modifications in the due date, you can change it right here, or I find it much simpler to just move it like that and it will update in your input as well. And finally, we also have the archive tab and this will be all of your assessments that you've completed. So let's say that today, thank God we've finished our literature review, we can check it off and it disappears here and appears here. 
So I'm really happy with how this assessment tracker turned out. I feel like it's very simple and very organized and it allows you to input everything but filter to only see the things that are pertinent to you right now. So if we look at what is due today, we'll see that this table is what we also see on the home page. Just because I think you'd probably want to know what you have due today. So we have this view both in the home page and in our assessment tracker. In addition to the due today, we also have this overview screen where once again, it's just all of our upcoming assessments, but now in calendar form, we also have that same view in the home screen just so we could see it right away. Finally here as well, we have something called our assessment workflow because this will tell us, you know, what we have due, but it will not keep track of our progress with it. So I have this very simple board that allows us to look at all of our assessments and categorize it based on not started, in progress, and done. So you'll see that when we create a new assignment, I'm going to call this chem project, it's also created over here. And then let's say that I'm currently working on it and I'm working on this. And then by the time I'm done, I'm putting it over here. So this table and these boards are all connected. So it allows you to keep track of all of your due dates and what's coming up as well as your progress and see what you're currently working on, what you have to do and what you've already finished. I love it. I feel like it's so simple and so effective. And now there's no use in saying you forgot to do something because it's all here in our assessment tracker. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, let's move on to our classes. So I've put eight classes over here and you're able to customize the name and pictures and information for all of them. So let's open one real quick. So here you can see that we have our class and all of these have pre-made templates. So when you create a new class, it will automatically populate with this over here. So you'll see that I've put a section for you to put in all the class info, like the time, the dates of the classes, professor, lecture room, office hours, and any important contacts. You can paste the course description here and add in any required textbooks or materials. If you wanna keep track of how the grading scheme is split up, you can put that over here. And here you have the notes that are related to this class, and we'll talk more about that later. So we'll see that all of this is basically just a replica of that first class, and you can go ahead and input this information for each class that you have. Now related to the classes is something called the notes hub. So you'll see that each class has its own table, including the notes that you'll take for that specific class. But when we go to the notes hub, you'll see that it's kind of a master list of all of the notes. So the really fun thing here is that if you want to add a new note, you don't have to go into that class and then go into this table to create a new one. You can create it directly in the notes hub because you'll see that each of the notes are filtered based on the class that you have. So let's go ahead and make a new note and I'm going to make this a part of class one. And just to let you know, you can also go ahead and edit these by clicking the three dots over here and you can change the name right here. You'll see that when I created a new note, something called a simple notes template came up. So I'll give the date in which these notes were taken. And then when you open these notes, you'll see that it's pre-populated with a template that you can just fill in. I always like to make things small text and full width over here just for looks, but you can keep it as it is. And this template has stuff like the course information, a lecture overview of the topic and key concepts. You can go ahead and add more detailed notes here, important definitions, if you have any questions that you wanna ask at the end of the class or during office hours, as well as any action items. So this way you don't have to start from scratch and you have this very lovely template that you can open up when you're in lecture. You can go to this new button here and click this down arrow and you'll see that we have three different templates that are available whenever you make a note. So the one I just showed you and the default is the simple notes template, but if we want a Cornell notes template, we can click that. We'll see the Cornell notes template pops up. I have little instructions over here and how this works is that you can fill in the class day and comments at the top during the lecture, you'll take notes here on the right column. And after the lecture, you can review your notes and add any questions or cues here in the left column. And in the bottom, you can just have a summary of everything. So whether you like notes more like this, or more like this. I have templates available for both so you don't have to do it. But however, if you're very particular about how you take your notes or you don't want a template, you can go ahead and just click the empty one over here and it'll open up an empty page. Also, if whenever you create a new note, you'd rather it be the Cornell ones or an empty one, you can click the three dots and set that as the default instead. And the great thing there is that all of these notes that are in our centralized notes hub are also filtered in our classes boards. So just how you can see that we have filters for class one through eight, it's connected to the class one through eight here. So if we open class one, it will only include the notes that we've tagged as class one, and it's the same all the way to class eight. 
So once again, all you have to do is add a new note in the notes hub, make sure that you tag the correct class, and it'll automatically sort itself into each class board here. And that's the whole thing with this particular notion board is that I tried to automate as much as possible and try to connect as many boards as I can so you don't have to lift a finger. Finally, here in the navigation page, we also have our meeting notes. So it's very similar to our other boards. Here we have the meeting name, category, the last meeting, and if there's anything to do in it. Let's give an example. Let's call it YouTube meeting. We can go ahead and categorize it as whatever it is, put when the last meeting was, there's something that I have to do. So this is just good to know if we have any action items as well as take any notes. Once again, I love templates. I love things that are pre-filled. So once we open it, we'll see that there is already a template for all of the meeting details, including the date and time, who attended, what our agenda is, our discussion points, action items, our next meeting. So hopefully this just makes the whole process a little bit easier so you can go ahead and just fill things out as necessary. And also, if you wanna add these little icons, you can just go ahead and click add icon here and add it as needed. And so now that we know what our assessment tracker, notes hub, and meeting notes are, we can now talk about what the quick capture is. And this is something that I'm so excited about. So I taught you how to add a new assessment by jumping to the assessment tracker, going to input, and then adding it through here. But why do that when instead you can have it as easy as a click of a button? So this is a button. So whenever you want to add a new assessment, you can just click that and fill it out from here. So I'm gonna call this new assessment in all caps so we can keep track of it. Oh, I cannot type. I can fill in all the information here and then we can see now by clicking that button and going to the assessment tracker it showed up over here and over here and this is what I mean I love when everything is linked and now sure it's not difficult to jump from the assessment tracker and then add it there but here you can literally click a button in the home page and it's already there and it's the same thing if you want to add a new note so imagine you're sitting down you're in your lecture you're late you're sitting down boom let's make a new note and let's go to class. And you can pre-fill all that information and you have your template and it's just automated and so easy and so simple. Finally, we have the same thing for adding a new meeting note. Click of a button, you know, we're starting the meeting, you join one minute before the Zoom starts, you sit there, click that, we're ready to go. And so yeah, I love this quick capture. It just makes the process so much more seamless and so much easier and hopefully takes a little bit of the workload off of you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of reminders, these are just kind of small things, kind of like a brain dump that I want to remind myself of. And you can go ahead and just add things here edit this video. <laughs> and for important links, if there's anything that you want to save, you can go ahead and type it out. You can highlight it and then just add a link here as necessary. So that was a general overview of this student template. It's completely free. I made it specifically with you guys in mind and you can find it in the link in my description below. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I tried my best to leverage the features that Notion had available and create something that was clean, functional and aesthetic and hopefully will be your best friend in terms of organization and productivity this back to school season. So if there's anything that I need to clarify or any features that you want added please let me know in the comments below and i'll try and implement them as much as possible so happy back to school season as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one